everyone, this is me Sadhya here and I'm doing your third week of October reading start from the 15th through the 21st of October 2020. This is going to be for the sign of Pisces and uh, I will be adding oracle cards in this reading but no charms will be added. So stay tuned and uh, while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings and you can also check out my sister's tarot channel as well. I will be adding the link to her channel in the comment section. If you like it, you can always become a part of her YouTube family as well. So let's see what is coming up for my fishies for the third week time starting tomorrow. Uh, as these two cards pop out, uh, it is uh, Ace of Pentacles and Ten of Swords. I feel like you know, somebody has... Um, Somebody ended something because of money. It can be a relationship that ended because your person was uh, too focused on their money. It didn't work out well for them. You walking up, uh, away from them or they walking away from you because of the money situation. It is not get, going to be fruitful for them or either, uh, you know, uh, or uh, with you as well. I feel like, you know, if you ended a connection recently because of the money situation involving either you or your person, I feel like, you know, it's... Uh, the situation is not going to work out well for the person who left the connection because of the money situation. So, um, eventually they are going to make a comeback in your life. Uh, especially if the relationship ended and made you feel like you know it's over and stuff, it's not. Especially around the 15th, you might be receiving a message or a call from this person, whoever it is, who ended the connection because of a money situation. It can be, like I said, for some of you, maybe your person uh, or it can be your own energy as well. Maybe you ended a relationship because you were not able to focus on a connection. But for majority of my fishes, I feel like, you know, this is the energy of the person um, who, uh, or maybe you walked out of a connection because they were not giving you time. So whatever that they were giving their time to, it's not going to work for them and they are going to come back. The connection that you ended recently is not finished yet. So there is going to be a reconciliation of some kind. But would that last? That's that's another question. But that's what I'm picking up with the, those two cards. So yeah, let's see what else is going to happen for my fishies for the third week of October time. Let's begin. Wow, the sun. Six of swords. Three of cups. Ten of Cups, wow. Underneath the deck, Four of Swords. Underneath that, Queen of Pentacles. Underneath that, uh, the Emperor. Somebody is ready to come back in your life. And I feel like you know, the, the cards that fell off, that, that sets the tone for the, for the whole week. You and a person who ended a connection recently, maybe in the last week time, they and you are coming back together. Um, something was involved. Or, you know, th there was a situation that made you part ways and maybe you or your person thought it's over. And it was more of a situation where you felt like it's never going to revive. The connection is just finished, dead and everything. And then the other person, whoever was the reason behind the failure of a connection, especially I feel like, you know, it's, it, it, there was some sort of money involved in that situation. For some of you, like I said earlier, the, the person that you were dealing with, maybe they were too busy with their work, focusing on uh, to something else in their life, like work, career, finances. Um, but as you ended the connection, the whole thing that they're working towards collapse. And that's when they are going to, you know, come back to you because they are right now thinking, when I'm doing this reading, they are right now thinking of a reconciliation with you. They do find that um, being with you is the good luck charm for them. And it, they cannot survive without you. That's what I'm picking up with the energy. So whatever the case is, I do see them coming back in your life to, to give you what you have been um, you know, asking for in this connection. And they will be, you know, if you have been asking for a commitment, they will give you the commitment. If you, if you have been asking them for for um, more communication, they will be communicating more with you. But I do see they will be the one making a move towards you. I don't see you moving towards them because I feel like you know it was more of you leaving the connection behind because that person was too focused on their work and stuff. And whatever that they were focused on, it's not gonna work well for them, for them as you walk out of this connection, as you walk out of that person's life. So that's when they are going to make a comeback. And I feel like you know it's gonna happen in the, um, 
on the 14th night or the 15th daytime or night time so 14th 15th is going to be the time when you are going to receive a message call from this person because right now they are contemplating on you know reaching out to you to contact you because that's what is something that that they need in their life that it's it's more like um i don't know but that energy is showing up very you know strongly here they believe that you are their good luck charm and they are like uh contemplating on the things that has happened ever since you got in their life and as soon as you walked out of their life how everything collapsed for them so i feel like you know they are going to make a comeback because of the same reason and i feel like you know as they do come back they will be offering you something stable because they cannot like i said they are going to realize the type of connection that you have and i don't think that they will risk losing you again and they will give you all that you ask for and even more what you desire in this connection with them that's what i'm picking up very strongly and i do see that this week is going to be filled with a lot of abundant time with you and them together plus i do see some sort of celebration within the family of you two together it can be an engagement party it can be a connection party it can be a you know um you know if uh, maybe you are celebrating the reconciliation in one way or the other so i do see that families will be involved uh, in the in the celebration too so for majority of you i feel like you know there is going to be a sudden uh, change in this connection happening in this week time uh, from 15 through the 21st of uh, october and i do see the the celebration is going to come around on the uh, around the end of the week time so i do see that coming through i do see this person has changed a lot this person has changed a lot for those of you um who have been single and there was nobody that you know and that you ended your situation uh, with in the last week time or in the recent times and if if you are completely single i feel like you know there is this one person coming in your life and this person is being guided towards you but in that situation i feel like you know this person could be either married already or uh, could have kids as well and in that situation i feel like you know whoever it is this person lives at a distance from you and as they move towards you as they make a, it it could be like you know a family situation where you are going to meet this person through a family friend or something because i feel like you know this person is being guided towards you and if this happens i feel like you know you and this person is going to travel together somewhere else where you are you know from where you are living right now and it all is going to happen in this time frame one week time it's going to be quick change quick change um quick shift in the connection quick quick shift in your life overall so this week is going to be um like a happy busy fun kind of a week where you are going to be celebrating a lot of things happening in your love life um with a specific person it can be somebody new for some of you especially for those of you who are completely single and who are not you know uh who didn't break up with anyone in recent past for others of you who recently broke up with someone because of the money situation or some sort of around those lines you know maybe maybe they moved on you moved on something happened and something you know something made you part ways thinking that you are never going to talk again because it's never going to work that connection is reviving in this week time and it is going to be you know um moving so fast forward is what i'm picking up so yep that's the energy for my fishes it's 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 a good thing because for majority of fishes their love life has been stuck lately and it's now on the roll for sure so let's take oracle cards now let's see what the oracle has to add to the reading for my fishes for this week time relationship patterns it takes strength to recognize the need for change for some of you i feel like you know you ending a connection with a specific someone in the recent past had basically um set you free from the you know waiting on for a particular outcome in the situation 
which you know you changing your shift from the lack of this connection lack of you know um things moving forward into into the direction of your dreams regarding this connection as you ended this connection it just allowed the new energies to flow into your life which is why you are having a sudden shift in 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 this connection you know maybe you always thought that you won't be able to move on maybe your person always thought that you would never leave them alone and the moment you decided okay fine i can survive without them and i uh, i'm ready to move on especially if they are not giving me anything that i desire in this connection that's going to be the shift where you have basically put them down from the pedestal and now you are keeping yourself on the pedestal for yourself and that shift is going to attract them back to you and maybe you were chasing them before but this time around they will be the one chasing you it all you know changing in 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 this week time and for some of you you might have broken up in the last week or the week before that so it's it's uh, or maybe even before that but it's it's some recent energy more than anything else so you leaving this connection is going to bring you what you desire in this connection that's what i'm picking up you know it it took you time to realize that you have to value yourself instead of you know keeping this person on the pedestal really had to gather a lot of strength to end this connection with this per one person and it took you time it took your strength it took your you know big decision of your life and then when you did that and moved on it's not even a week or two week time when this person is coming back to you and i feel like you know it's all going to happen in this week time no matter if if you ended a connection with them last week if you ended the connection in the last few days time if you ended the connection 2 weeks ago this all is happening as you allow things to go and you let things go and you you know continue moving forward um deciding for yourself that you deserve something better and the moment you move on it's it's like you know you 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 don't have any attachment to this you know situation that you are having right now you 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 decided okay fine i deserve something better i deserve something committed i deserve something you know fulfilling emotionally fulfilling um mentally sexually and financially too and this connection was something exactly the opposite and you decided to leave that connection because the person that you were dealing with they didn't they were not ready to give you what what you desired in this connection i feel like you know, it was more of a imbalanced connection where your person was not acting mature in this connection and that's how you chose to leave this you know the situation because it has been going on and off maybe that's the pattern that you realize and you wanted to you know break free from that pattern so you could have a different outcome and the moment you did that the outcome is here like you know i feel like you know it was more of a decision where you decided okay fine i will never have this person back in my life it was not like the on and off thing where you ended a connection and then you text them back in the in the next you know few hours or few days you decided you want to leave this person you decided and you took that decision and that's how this person is coming back to offer you something stable this time around for some of you they never realized that you would ever leave them like this and that's how again you it it all starts from within you you know the moment you decided uh, i want to go for a different decision this time around because all the things that you tried in the past didn't work well for you so this time you decided okay fine let me leave this connection behind because i don't want to stay stuck in this situation and that's how you moved on you you gathered that strength and you took that decision and that's how this person is coming to chase you now so yep let's take one more card here the moment uh, the moment i realign with love clear direction is presented to me that's exactly what i said the moment i realign with love that's what you decided okay fine you were you were being taken for granted by this person and you chose to walk away because you wanted to be loved and for that you have to love yourself first you loved yourself first you took that decision moved on and that's how that new direction brought you this love coming from the same person that you wanted or for some of you it will it could be a new person as well so yep that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time if the reading resonates with you do like subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal reading you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you guys take care
बाय